Hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo and our adventures at the Blue Ridge Mountains as we carry on with our Blue Ridge Wildlife Park where we are doing our best to raise the animals added in with the North American DLC pack to Planet Zoo and that includes beavers! I know it's been a few days now, but I still cannot get over the fact that we just get to hang out with beavers that is so much fun and what would be really fun is actually getting a chance to see how they could build some dams so what we're going to work on today is hopefully expanding our knowledge of beavers educating our guests all about them and also educating ourselves on what kind of enrichment items they might like because i hear there's a special enrichment item that actually like shows off their dam building activities and abilities but i think it might be the one thing that we don't have just yet when it comes to like all of the different things you can unlock for their toys so let me check really quickly so we want our beaver North American beaver so we're gonna wiggle over I wonder what the differences are between like the North American beaver and some of the other beavers we're gonna go blueprints off oh <gasps> look it's the beaver pool is this what does it oh my gosh no wonder they had so much like expanded territory I think the beaver pool is the thing that they can use to like make make a little beaver dam. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, we have to figure out where we can put this in. That's probably why they had so much room over here. Oh, that makes so much sense so that you could put in a whole bunch of beaver pools and you could just watch the beavers like be able to play with this. Oh my gosh, okay. So now I might have to actually push people like out of the way. I gave them these huge zones. All right, let's see. Did give them these huge zones obstructed obstructed aha oh wait 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 we can put one over here okay we'll try putting one right i really want to put one right in front of the guests though so that they can come and see what the beavers majestic abilities are um okay i think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to chase the guests away from this spot expand the area so we can put in we can put in one of the beaver pools but since we can already put one down here i'll put at least one over here to start all right, here we go. Beaver pool, beaver pool. Okay, hopefully this will work out okay. Oh my gosh, look, I made a cute little cute little cliff there. All right, so the, here's one beaver pool and that actually provides some toy enrichment. So I hope this does something for them. Uh, do we have all of the beaver? The beaver facts research, let's check out. So vet research, no, Dr. Oscar is actually still researching the North American beaver. And if we come over to our Zoopedia and we check out the research status, we can see that we have unlocked, we have unlocked all of their food and toy enrichments. Yes, okay, so the beaver pool is probably the cute little thing that they can like play around in to maybe show off their beaver abilities. And here's our fun facts. North American beavers can remain underwater for 15 minutes. North American beavers can recognize their relatives even if they are born several years apart and have never previously met. Okay, how? How? Like, is that scent marking somehow? Is that like some sort of instinct that they have to be able to like smell out who they're related to so they don't pick them as mates? That's so interesting. North American beavers may slap their tail on the surface of water repeatedly in response to danger. North American beavers are known to store food branches underwater near their lodge, so they have food throughout the winter. Oh, we've talked about that, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so let's see. We can improve their diet to also include aquatic plants and root vegetables. What else can we give them? They need more toys. I can put down some of the smaller toys over here so they'll come out and play. Like a sprinkler. Oh, I really want to put a little sprinkler down over here. Some of our guests need to go ahead and get splashed with the water while we're at it because that would be so freaking cute. Uh, there's a melon feeder. I want to watch beavers play with a big melon. There's also a toy ball we can put over here. Some scent markers. Water, oh, water jet enrichment. Okay, that's kind of cute too. Here, we'll put some water jet enrichments like down along here. Let's see. Then maybe I can hide them. Okay, water jet enrichment. Does that work out for the beavers? We'll put a few of them like along here so that people can kind of see this spot splashing. There we go. That's really cute. Okay, are the beavers super happy now? Oh, is somebody coming over to the beaver pool? Okay, now they want food enrichment. So I do need to put in 
Like maybe a frozen treat. But Bernan's coming over to see what's going on. Oh, I love their vocalizations. Beavers make the cutest noises. Oh, look at this. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. That's what this is. You can go ahead and watch them gnaw. Oh, Timber. You guys, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. So you can actually just watch them like work on hanging out with this pool. That is so awesome. I would just be perched right over here watching all day long. In fact, maybe we'll go ahead. We'll make like a little cafe area with some of the um, some of the other food things. And we can make like a little picnic zone. Because if I was going to choose anywhere to eat, it would be watching the beavers be able to like eat through trees. That's just way too amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll put in some more treats for them. Um, let's do a melon feeder over here. Because I think that that would be really precious if we could convince the beavers to like come eat under this tree with a melon. And then let's put the underwater plant feeder. I don't think any guests are going to see this, but we'll put this here. And then we just have to wait and see. Feeder, oh, feeder not deep enough. Okay. So how does this work? What about here? Okay, feeder ready. It doesn't have any food just yet, but the keepers will eventually bring food here. Oh, look at everybody eating. Oh, I love this family. I wonder when they'll have more babies. Let's see. There's the lead mother is Yardley. Did we rename all these beavers? Let me double check my beaver name list. I wrote down the name of all the beavers from the first episode and we had to rename them i did not rename them okay let's come through and we're going to rename the beaver family real quick after some of you guys from that first episode where i had to kind of like restart actually in scenario mode so we're going to have cass as our lead male then we have fox as one of our boys we also have just e as one of our boys we have got emma as one of the girls and then our lead, like, mother female, who I think is the mom of all these guys, is going to be Janelle. And then we have Foxy, because you guys all have so many amazingly cool animal names, who is going to be added in here as well. Oh, who's, who's, oh, our American Bullfrog is hungry and thirsty. Who's in charge of the American Bullfrog? Actually, I think I have started, wait, is anybody in charge of the American Bullfrog? Quickly, to the park zones. I think that this should actually be Seal Hills? Yeah, Seal Hills should have somebody in charge of all of this. <gasps> oh, I'm going to need to make sure that we build a path over to our water treatment plant there. Uh, but one thing at a time, we need to make sure we're trying to add things that can give us a little bit more money, like every day we're working here. All right, we should have a keeper coming over here. Hopefully pretty soon. And we need to do more research on our bullfrogs too. And you know what we really should be doing? Is trying to get some bullfrog babies because that could probably majorly help us out with a lot of money. Uh, so let's actually name our bullfrogs real quick. Here's the male. And then the female is right over here. Why they are separated, who knows? But this is going to be Kitty after Kitty Cat. And Kitty Cat, I'm so glad you like our cougars. Oh good, here is a, a like keeper coming right this second. Good. Food and water and everything else there is nice and improved. Good job, Trent. Oh, Trent, we need to rename you. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to rename Trent. And he's actually going to be Leo. So this is going to be, um, hmm, which is one of our amazing patrons from the next name on our Patreon list for October. Thank you so much, Leo, for all of your wonderful help. All right, so we're going to have you be... Frog Leap uh, Researcher Leo, because I kind of love the idea that like he's researching how far apart frogs can jump. And are you assigned to a work zone? Yes, he is actually assigned to this work zone. So that's his job to take care of these frogs. And since we are trying to earn more money, let's actually come in and let's go to the American Bullfrog, refresh the list, and let's find ourselves a lovely lady and another male that we can add in. So we're gonna add in the female over here and we're gonna add in 
the mail over here and then maybe we'll get a bunch of little tadpoles and we'll be able to sell them for quite a bit of money which would be wonderful all right and leo thank you so much for all of the help you have been to keeping all of our adventures going with our patreon so that we can go at our own pace we can adventure on the things that we really love to adventure it it means so much to me and we're going to rename this male frog right over here this is going to be mcallister after Angus McAllister. Oh, gosh, you guys really, really love all of our cougars. Hopefully they'll have babies pretty soon. I'm very excited about that idea. And actually, we have a wolfie from a wolfie hell. You're very excited about the cougar babies, too. All right, we'll have to check in on our cougars sometime very soon and make sure that they are on their way to possibly having cubs, because that is one of our goals. And then we're going to come over to our male here. And this is actually going to be Chris after Christopher, actually, after Crystal Christopher. And yes, the Arctic foxes. How could I have forgotten about the foxes? Oh, because there's always a bazillion things to do here, which has, has been keeping me on my toes. And that is why I haven't been able to go ahead and add in the foxes. But I haven't forgotten about them. All right. Yes, I know the water treatment. Oh, that research is done. Oh. <gasps> We have 100% unlocked all of the research on the American beaver. That's fantastic. So let's have Dr. Oscar actually work on unlocking more research about the cougars so that we can try to get some bonuses going on to help the cougar breeding program that we're trying to run. All right. I know we need to reach that water treatment plant. It's in the list. But today I wanted to continue to work on our beavers. Gosh, I really want to watch them eat some things. It'd be so cute. And let's go ahead and put down... Guests are going to be tired and thirsty. Oh, whoa. Guests are really tired and thirsty and they need a restroom. I have an idea. <laughs> All right, let's come in. High amounts of litter. Oh, phooey. Okay, we're going to have to work on that. But one thing at a time. Let's add in another burger stand. Okay, apparently there's also hot dogs. So, ooh, what about corn dogs? Like vegan corn dogs. I love that idea. Vegan corn dogs are really yummy. We try to avoid them. They sell them at a lot of stores now. Um, but Chips and I do love a good vegan corn dog. So let's see. This is Modern Shops Building. That has information. It has restroom. Okay, this is actually a really nice plaza. It's not selling the ones that I wanted to sell because it's just selling Gulpy and like the burgers. Um, oh, and I really want to open up these food trucks. I am such a sucker for those cool food trucks. But, hot dog, blueprints off. Yeah, we do have hot dog squad. I think I could try to replace that. How much is this, though? We're a little low on money. Maybe I should just be putting down, like, vending things instead of, like, a whole mall. Nine, oh, no way, $9,000 is, like, half of our money, guys. Absolutely not. <laughs> not right now. We're playing in a challenge mode, so we really need to, like, think about these things. Uh, instead, we're going to have, like, a cute little... Cute little spot where people can just step off the path. They can go ahead and get a little glimpse of our bird eaters from another angle. And then if they would like to... Let's see, how am I going to do this? There we go. And hopefully this won't get too messed up. Okay, that's really going to be weird. Probably don't want to do that. Got to think about this. Okay, that actually makes kind of like the little side area I was going for. So we'll have like a little side zone right here. It's not pretty yet, but don't worry. I'll just cover it in plants and everything will be fine. And then, oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll just put down like some little plants around here. So then what you can do is you can come and you can get your hot dog squad. There's a little siren that plays when you put down hot dog squad. Why is that so cute? And then we'll put down some pip shot. There we go. And then how about we even add in a little ATM? There's, there's like this little spot. And then do we have... Let's see. Toilets. I mean, it might be nice to add a bathroom back here to encourage more people to kind of like wiggle this way. Oh, a little eco bathroom. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. We can like put down different kinds of plants. All right. Maybe I could sneak a bathroom in over here. 
Perhaps? Maybe? Let's see. Maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, I might be able to do it. Oh. I do kind of want the... Do I want the bathroom over there? Maybe I'll put the bathroom more over here. Oh, why is it so hard sometimes to, like, make things look semi-decent in Planet Zoo? It's because I, I don't have any plans. I just leap in and cross my fingers and hope it all work out. All right, that'll do. Oh, no, it won't do. It's floating in the air! Oh, Siri! Siri, you absolute goose nugget. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's put... Oh, oh my goodness. Now we're blocking the door. That's a fire hazard. All right, well, you know what? If people can get to it, that's what really matters here. I'll flatten this a little bit. Oh, good. This woman was desperate. Look at her. She's like crawling into this restroom. Uh, and then, like I said, we're just going to make it all better with some plants. <laughs> oh my gosh, North American plants, come to me. <laughs> Save my dignity, please. <laughs> all right, blueprints off. And we'll be able to see the rotation of the plants now. That's a nice thing, at least. All right, align to surface, random rotation, bramble bushes. Oh, bramble bushes. You'll make everything better, right? Let's see. Hmm. I mean, it could. It could fill in that giant gap. I feel like this is my version of fixing things with duct tape. Like, my dad was always like, eh, a little tape will fix that. And now I'm like, eh, just smack some plants on it. That'll do. Oh, but that actually, that actually doesn't look terrible. All right. Now people can come over and they can use these restrooms. We have some mildly manicured plants to hopefully... Let's see. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. There we go. See some nice little plants so that people can just go ahead. Come on in. Pardon the like giant floating thing right next to you. Um, and then we need some... This is not as nice as I was hoping it would be. Yeah, I really wanted people to be able to, like... Can I make this path connect at all? No. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit more chaos than I thought. That connects at least. All right, sorry guys, I don't mean to get distracted by pathing. Uh, it's just, it happens sometimes. Ooh, there we go. I mean, that'll do. It could be a lot worse. I can feel, I can fix it in, in, in post. I can fix it with plants. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. All right, let's put down some little benches and things for people to go ahead and relax. <sighs> Let's see, a little picnic bench. New world picnic bench. Oh, why is it always uneven placement? Because I need to flatten the ground first. Oh, cruel world. Oh, it is on a slope. Curses! Just when I thought we had, like, our perfect thing. Alright, well, let's flatten this out. There we go. I'm just trying to make an area to make a ton of money so that we can upgrade our beavers, guys. I missed a spot can't believe I missed a spot. Oh, it's because it comes right up to that. All right. Well, that's going to have to do. Watch your step. Don't trip. And there, finally, a tiny, tiny, tiny little picnic zone. I think I can add like two tables. There we go. Oh, actually, let's use these new world picnic benches because they're really cute and they kind of remind me of the beavers. Excellent! Oh, that makes me so much happier. All right. Whoops. Okay, and we'll line this up just so. It's really tricky. Like, one of the things I love about Planet Zoo is that you can literally design everything. But that also means that you are responsible for literally designing everything. And making sure that it, like, comes out right. Okay. Straighten this out. And then we can eventually install a actual little like shop back here. I kind of want to wait until it's like a lettuce shop. Like a salad joint so that we can go ahead and just say that like the beavers have a little salad joint near their exhibit. 
Because they eat leaves too. Ah. <laughs> that, ah. don't, I'm not an expert at these things. I'm I'm merely don't 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 worry about it, guys. We'll we'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Alright, we'll just throw in a bathroom or two. I don't think people use the vending machines nearly as much as like the other stuff, but at least we have a lot of people coming back here for the restrooms, if nothing else. And maybe while they're here, they'll be able to really enjoy and appreciate our wonderful beavers. There we go. We'll put some of those down. And what we could even do is like hide this section, th these things, with plants, which we've done in the past and has actually worked out really well. And with some North American plants. Oh, beautiful beach. Well, we are supposed to be in the Appalachian Mountains. And what you really have in the Appalachian Mountains are a lot of oak. But to my like surprise, oak trees are not actually <laughs> oak trees are not actually present in any of the Planet Zoo expansions we've had. That really truly does blow my mind a little bit because there are oak trees everywhere in the Blue Ridge. Oh, and the Flying Dutchman's pants. I've seen a few of those. I think they're escapees from like people's gardens, but I have seen a few of those. But yeah, if you want if you want to know what you usually see, it's ferns, so many ferns. That's one of the reasons I I deeply 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 adore where we live. There's just fern trees everywhere. Let's see. I could put a little holly tree over here to kind of hide all this. That's actually lovely. I'm going to do it. And then I think there's like a construction thing. Light, centerpieces, props, special effects. Siri rediscovers all of the basics. Planters! Yeah! I'm pretty sure there's like a little... Yeah, like these little planters. That you can put on down. Ooh, this new world planter is so cool looking! Oh my gosh! I've never used it before, but I'm totally going to start now. And then we'll move the tree into the planter. Ooh, I love that! Alright, we're gonna use planters all over the place, people. I hope you're prepared. Prepare yourself for planters. Also brambles. But yeah, if you want to know what the Blue Ridge looks like, think ferns. An abundance of ferns and mushrooms. It's so beautiful, especially this time of year when the leaves start changing. Oh. Hmm. I think I need to prune my brambles, and I don't often say that. But at least it's something. Oh, and somebody's using my bench. Oh, that makes me happy. All right. So I need. I think what we need to do next is probably. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> probably repair the fencing because the barrier has like fallen to pieces again. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and try to get our money back up. <laughs> I am a little concerned about the funds, so we're gonna start working on guest education coming up next. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Uh, it definitely is getting a little interesting as we finally have plays for our beavers to play. <gasps> Somebody ate their melon! And hopefully we'll start feeding more of the guests and that will make them happier and more content and more apt to give us lots and lots of donations. But alright, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our glorious beavers. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!